Hello guys, what I'm going to do today is have a go at fixing these cloudy and hazy headlights on this car which has done 186,000 miles. Um, I'm going to use some abrasive paper, see if we can get this plastic headlight back to its lovely shiny original condition. And what we're going to be using today is what we used to call emery cloth, and I think it's now just called abrasive paper or wet and dry paper. Uh, this is a whole set here, I got this from eBay, it goes from 400 which is very coarse up to 1500 which is so fine that you barely feel any abrasiveness at all. Anyway we're going to try this on the headlamp and see if we can scrub out these um, little tiny tiny cracks which mean the headlamp is all sort of muzzy and uh, hazy. We're going to start off with a 1000 grit and just see how we get on. Right, so this is, this is the 1000. Trying to go in straight lines, I think that's probably better than going around in circles. There's something coming off because uh, the gravy's going a bit yellow. Apply a reasonable amount of pressure, not too much, just so you can feel it actually biting a little bit. Right guys, this is the 1500 grit, just going to uh, wrap it around this piece of foam stuff from the hound shop, just wrap that around there, wet it a little bit, wet your surface, and give that a good going over again, because this is finer technically, any abrasions it makes are going to be smaller scale than the thousand grit. Make sure you keep enough water on there. This paper is waterproof paper. It's called wet and dry paper for that reason. I must say it already feels so much more shiny than it did before. I'm hoping that's a good thing. Right, now we're using the 2000 uh, grit, same thing, just wrap it around your bit of sponge, wet it a bit, wet your surface. This is basically polishing it. This paper is so fine, it feels like writing paper to be honest, but obviously has some abrasive qualities. Make sure you keep the water on there because you don't want this paper to run dry. I'm going to give this a bit of a spray. And give it a bit of a dry with the towel. Tell you something guys, that looks a hell of a lot better already. You can see now that that's dried, the headlamp has gone uniformly misty. So what we're going to do now is apply some soda crystals which we've made up into a paste in our yoghurt uh, pot here. And hopefully that's going to give us a very nice shiny finish. Now we're using some of our special green towel for this. Obviously if you've got a different colour towel, it won't have any effect whatsoever. This um, 
bicarbonate of soda or soda bicarbonate. It's the same stuff that you're going to find in toothpaste. And probably not quite so much of it though. second coat, this time wearing uh, the rubber gloves. I think this stuff could be a little bit uh, aggressive towards your skin, so anybody with soft skin should probably wear rubber gloves. If you're just soft-hearted, well, you can go without. Well, this is uh, definitely looking a lot better as we don't know until it dries exactly how good it is. So I'm going to give it a good spray over now. Make sure we get, away, get all this uh, bicarbonate of soda away. Don't know what it'll do to the paintwork. And then use a piece of towel to dry that. Well that's dry now guys, and no doubt if you had some kind of polishing tool on the end of your drill you could get this really really shiny if you wanted. Well I hope you found that interesting guys, how to clean your headlights with just emery paper from eBay and soda crystals from the supermarket. If you like this and you'd like to subscribe to my channel that would be very nice, thank you and uh, you'll be able to see what other things we get up to while we fix our car, fix our house and many other crazy DIY projects. Thanks for watching.